A local Edmonton business is helping aspiring comic book artists and writers get their talents published. And here to talk more about it is Jason Bardella, owner of Happy Harbor Comics and Toys. Thank you very much for coming in. Thanks for having me. I am going to get right to this table here because this table represents local talent, right? Uh, absolutely. And there's so much of it. And so what we're trying to do is we've created, well, what we've done is created an event called Comic Talks. Mm -hmm. And over six days in August, we're bringing in all these people and so many more to come in and talk about how they got into comic books, how they've self-published, they're writers and artists. Mm -hmm. There's also people who have taken their love for comic books and managed to convert it into other professional uh, careers, uh, such as graphic designers and artists, some people who have their own business, some people who work in television. Uh, we're also bringing in journalists, novelists, and teachers to talk about comics and help Wow, promote. there's a lot of interest in this. Uh, there is, and actually that's the reason why I started doing it, was because I had more and more people coming to me and said, you know what, Jay, I've got an idea, but how do I make my own comic? Mm -hmm. I'm a writer, how do I find an artist? I'm an artist, how do I publish? Right. Um, it was a little bit more than I knew, so the best thing I could think of doing was finding the people who have done it. Bring them in and let them tell their stories. Wow, so this is bringing all those people together under one roof, and we will get to those details in a minute. But first of all, tell us more about this book and this venture and that, how it all came together. Um, this was part of the 24-hour Comics Day, which was an international event. Mm -hmm. We had 13 people in the store, and their objective was to produce a 24-page comic book from scratch in 24 hours. Once uh, everything was done, some people finished, some people didn't, but everyone gave it their best shot. It's a pretty grueling task. Uh, normally it takes months to complete a yeah, comic book. Yeah, that's what I wanted to know. Like, you know, I'm not familiar as to how long something like this would take. Like, to draw one page or sketch out one page, how long does that generally take? A professional comic book artist can do probably about two pages a day, but a comic book artist is someone who just does the penciling. Someone else goes over with the finished inks and then it goes on to someone else to be colored, it goes on to someone else to be lettered. Oh, so the work that's done here is done by one individual doing multiple tasks. And in the case of the 24-hour comics day, mm -hmm. not only were they doing all the artistic work, but all the written work, making it up on the spot as they go along. So there's no advance work in this. Wow, they must yeah. have been exhausted after they all that. They were. It was over. pretty everyone was fairly attractive when they came in and everyone looked pretty horrific when they left, <laughs> including myself. But you know, that's the task. That's that's what happens when you do that kind of thing. Um, it was also done as a fundraiser as well, which was mm -hmm. very important. We raised over sixteen hundred dollars for the Alberta Literacy Foundation and the sale of the book that we published, uh, one dollar from the sale of every book continues to go to the Alberta Literacy Foundation as well. Wow, well that was a great idea yeah. to bring everybody together. Tell us a bit more about some of the things that you've brought in here. You said it's all local talent, some from Calgary as well. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I have to, I wanted to point out this one over here, if we can, I look at that and to me that just represents hours of sketching, <laughs> you know? Uh, that's one of uh, one of our customers, Bob Prodor. Um, he just moved back from Vancouver and this is a, a series of books that he's done called Wine, Women and Song. Uh, Bob's actually a pretty speedy artist, uh, does some amazing stuff. Mm -hmm. um, he runs two stories throughout the book. One is about a gang of friends and their kind of day-to-day -day life situations. The other uh, series of stories is uh, based on, uh, instead of a group of superheroes, it's a group of supervillains and oh. how they work together and do their jobs mm -hmm. and their conflicts and interests. Um, this Amongst Tale is from uh, a, a couple, uh, Kendricks and Laurie, called Consequential Studios, and they've put out five issues so far. Continuing to do more, theirs is probably the most professional level of wow. book. Um, it's more like a finished, complete oh, look at this. book. Uh, the artwork is phenomenal. Is, is phenomenal. Um, they put a lot of time and effort. Their books don't come out as, as a normal comic book would. Normally, uh, a professional big industry comic book is once a month. Um, they've, because they have lives and, and jobs, obviously, <laughs> um, not quite as fast. Um, but what comes out is a more is a very solid, uh, professional looking product. Right. Very good, uh, awesome to read. So this is something a lot of people get into as a hobby. They're oh, totally. I mean, uh, so many of us get hooked on comic books as a kid. Right. That's kind of where sure. it starts. Yep. And then uh, one of the things that we hope to convey is, you know, you can if, if parents bring their kids to this and meet these people, um, they can see how, you know, if, you're, if your child has a perchance for writing or mm -hmm. any artistic inclinations at all, they can go somewhere with it. And there's something that can be done. You can have a tangible product. You have an outlet for that creativity. Um, and there are people who are willing to help and support you 
do that and get that stuff out there. So where do you find those people to help and support you? Well, Happy Harbor Comics and Toys uh, is hosting a series of information panels this month. Okay, so here are the details. It is located on 101st Avenue, 124th Street, right here in Edmonton. The number to call 452-8211. And Jason, that discussion is going to be held on August 6th, 7th. 13th, 21st, 27th, and 28th. Did that's I get the correct. dates right? Yep, that's correct. Okay, so the number to call again for information, 452-8211, or log on to the website, happyharborcomics.com. That is a great opportunity for everybody to get together all under one roof and learn from one another. Oh, some great ideas. I'm inspired now. Thanks very much for coming in, Jason, and Thanks good luck with me. all your sessions. We appreciate your time. Excellent.